I'm going to show you the similarities between binomial and Poisson distribution in basically they're the exact same. Um, think about some situations uh, for binomial uh, probabilities. Uh, for example, you're touching a coin getting one side uh, of the coin. So there are two possible outcome only. Either you get head or you get tail. Um, in a manufacturing plant, for example, say you are trying to see how many defective products. So you can take a product randomly and you can see whether uh, that is defective or not defective. So there are two options. You start your car in the morning, whether it's going to start the car or not going to start the car. And then um, there are a lot of situations like this. Um, you go to a, you buy something online, whether that is defective or not. So there are two outcomes. Uh, in that kind of situation, it's called binomial. These same situations can be considered Poisson uh, when you think of something like this. For example, uh, you don't know when the car is not going to start next time. We don't know when I will get uh, one of the bad defective products from online. Is it tomorrow, day after tomorrow? Um, in this type of situations, when there is no memory, Poisson distribution is a memory-less distribution. Uh, in that kind of situation, uh, we use Poisson distribution. Now let's calculate the probability for both uh, Poisson and binomial and see uh, how much is the uh, difference between them. So let's, let's have some x values, uh, fake x values. So we are calculating uh, this is the number we are trying to calculate for example and then using binomial distribution and then Poisson distribution so in the earlier case if you remember we have this uh, binomial cases um, ordering 50 products next month and what is the chance that I will get two of them defective and the probability in general I get defective product from online is about 2% so let's have all these numbers here go a little bit larger so I can see it better maybe not that large like that so you can say my sample size n is 50 um, and then d I'm looking for two defective when I will get two of them defective and then probability of defective is um, 0 0.02 and then um, for Poisson, I need NP, which is equal to uh, this times this, like that. So I think that's all I need. Uh, let's go calculate by normal probability. So I can type in Excel by num dot d east parenthesis. So I want to get how many of them bad trial um choosing instead of two defective i'm calculating for range of defective so i can see the distribution and the difference between Poisson and binomial so i'm getting zero one two blah 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 i'm not really calculating two defective so if i calculate zero defective so then i got the number of trials is 50 and I'm, i want to freeze that because i want to calculate for probability for all of these um, cells then uh, the probability is this so I'm going to freeze that again so the same probability will be used to calculate this number of defectives and then comma I can do non-cumulative to see the exact frequency instead of cumulative it could do cumulative uh, there's nothing wrong with that well, they will look exact same uh, if they are same now let's do calculate using Poisson so I can type Poisson dot d east and then it's gonna ask for the x value number of defective and the mean value which is np select that i'm gonna freeze that cell comma zero Poisson is a little bit simpler. It's easy to calculate. A lot of stat book has Poisson table in the back of the book. However, you will might not see some of them uh, with the binomial probability distribution. If they only have Poisson, so because you can basically compare. If you look at this number, they're basically exact same. You know, no, I don't see much difference. Now if you plot, then you, it will look even obvious that they're 
um, they're very similar you see that they're almost like uh, overlapping each other it's nothing much exact same point very very no difference whatsoever so we can assume that um, either we can calculate probability either ways is gonna have the same value um, is it, the difference only difference is how we uh, define uh, the situation if we de define some memory less uh, situation then we have to use Poisson like I don't know when my car will not start next time uh, and if we define something like binomial I don't know whether it's gonna start or not so in that kind of situation I can think this exact same situation as binomial so let's name this and finish the video so this is the binomial and Poisson comparison x axis is my trial or uh, or in this case I would say defective uh, I think that's it about the uh, binomial and Poisson distribution comparison